Welcome to Thinking Particles New Features. In this video, we will talk about the GeomContact operator. If you did not watch the previous video about joint creation, we do suggest that you stop now this video and check out our previous video. This video is about a procedural way to create joints between objects. Instead of using our tool, you can do everything within Thinking Particles in a fully procedural way. So the setup is the same as we had in the other video. We have the spheres, we want to create joints between the spheres and have a physics simulation with gravity going on. So nothing has really changed in this setup. However, we are creating the joints between all these objects that are close by or near to each other automatically in a procedural way. Let me bring up the uh, setup and as you can see we have the uh, setup like we create the spheres and we have the uh, dynamic set that does all the magic with the joints, we have the force dynamic set, the gravity and we have our physics simulation dynamic set as well. We are using now in this dynamic set our new geom contact operator. So all the magic happens inside of this dynamic set. We're using all the object, the spheres, based on the group. So all the objects were put in the bullet particle group. So every sphere is a particle and that is in the bullet particle group. And then we feed this in into our object helper that lets us output the objects, the individual objects in a particle group. And all this is connected to our geom contact operator. And the geom contact operator takes all these objects and based on the parameters searches for the closest point and output, outputs the closest point between two objects. And this position is output to a joint helper to create a joint at exactly this position. And we will also output the uh, joint partners A and B in this case and tell the joint helper where the position is and where, where the objects are involved in the joint operation. As a debug method we also output one newborn particle per joint we create. Pretty simple we use the position. Now we play back and as you can see we created procedurally joins between all these objects. And the great and powerful thing about this operator is you can do that in a procedural way so you have full control. If things change, your joins will change automatically along. Thanks for watching this video and please check out the other videos as well.